Hello, in this problem we have to find x, y, and z. So we have an equation with vectors. These are called column vectors because they're written in column form rather than row form. So we have x times a vector plus y times a vector plus z times a vector equals this vector over here. So let's go ahead and work through it solution. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to perform what's called scalar multiplication because we have uh, a number, which is a scalar in this case, it's a number, uh, times a vector. So we basically to do that, we multiply the scalar by each of the components of the vector. So x times 1 is x, x times 1 is x, x times 1 is x. Scalars are usually complex or real numbers. Um, in general, a scalar is an element of what's called a field. So plus, and then y times 1 is y, y times 1 is y y times 0 is 0. Again, performing what's called scalar multiplication again. Right, so scalar times a vector. And then the last one is z times 1 is z. And then z times the zeros is going to give us 0. So it's pretty easy once you know how to do it. And this is equal to 2, negative 3, and then 4. Okay, so now we're going to do what's called vector addition. Vector addition says that to add vectors, you add the corresponding entries. So it'll be x plus y plus z. That will be the first component uh, in our vector. And then x plus y plus 0, which is just x plus y. And then x plus 0 plus 0, which is just x. And this is our vector here. And this is equal to 2, negative 3, 4. So you just add the corresponding components. And then two vectors are equal if their components are the same. So x plus y plus z is equal to 2. x plus y equals negative 3. x equals 4. Really beautiful, right? Works out really nice. And now we can use what's called back substitution. So you start with x equals 4, which we already have. And then you plug it in here. So you get 4 plus y equals negative 3, because x is 4. And then you can solve this by subtracting 4 from both sides. So minus 4 minus 4. So you have y equals negative 7. And now that we have y, and we also have x, which I probably should emphasize, x is 4. Right? We get that from here. We can plug them both, in, both into the first equation. So 4 plus y, so minus 7 uh, plus z equals 2. And then so 4 minus 7 is minus 3, and then plus z equals 2. And then just add 3, add 3, that gives us z equals 5. So we have x, y, and z, so 4, negative 7, and five, and those would be the answers. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.